All right, what's up guys? So Derek here from Simnet Nutrition. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen for yet another video. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys all about sweet potatoes. What makes them so amazing and why you should probably be eating more of them. So today's video is all about sweet potatoes. We're gonna talk a little bit about the history of them. We're gonna talk about the hotly debated name controversy, what makes a yam versus a sweet potato. Yes, I have finally gotten to the bottom of it, so we won't be making that mistake anymore. I'll tell you guys some fun facts about it. We're gonna talk about the nutritional content of it as well. And then I'll also tell you guys how to properly purchase it so you don't get any like bad ones. And then we'll talk about preparation, how to cook them, and my favorite way to cook it and eat it, which I will show you at the very end of this video. So before we get started with that, I just want to introduce this video series that you're watching here. So this is the first of many videos that I'm going to do like this where I highlight a certain food and then we just kind of dive into it and talk about everything that I just mentioned, including the nutritional content of it and then how to prepare it and maybe like a short recipe or something like that as well. So I think it's going to be a cool little video series. I like doing these like I did with the Ask Me Mondays because it gives me a little bit of focus uh, so I don't have to like just think like, oh crap, what kind of random video am I going to film today? And I think that we will all learn something from doing this. I know that I thought I knew a lot about sweet potatoes, but after doing some research for this, I definitely learned a lot. And I guarantee that you're gonna learn a lot as well. And then um, having like a recipe at the end is just gonna be an awesome way to cap it all off to show you guys a certain way to you know prepare the foods that I'm showing. So I think it should be good. I think it's a really cool idea. Definitely let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if there's a food that you want me to highlight, definitely leave that down below as well. So I think I'm gonna try and make this like my midweek upload. I'd love to be able to get it up either like Wednesday or Thursday and then still have the weekend to do sort of whatever I want, whether it be like a what I eat in a day or a workout video or just like some type of vlog or something like that. So definitely look forward to that. I don't know if it's gonna be every single Wednesday. I still want some uh, autonomy to be able to like do something else if I wanna do a Q&A or throw something else in there. But yeah, I think this is gonna give me some good direction and I'm actually really excited about it because I love learning about foods and I love sharing what I learned. So. Should be good for everybody. Man, I can use a lot of words to say very few things. <laughs> All right, so let's get the name confusion out of the way first. Is it a yam or is it a sweet potato? And what the heck is the difference? So I've got a variety of them here. We've got four different types. And you would assume that one of these is probably a yam, right? Like that one there, kind of looking pretty yam-like. But no, they're all sweet potatoes. Every single one of these is a sweet potato. And all the ones that you see in a store, even if they have yam on the label, they're pretty much guaranteed to be a sweet potato. So I'll put a picture of one up here, but a true yam is a really rough skinned and dry starchy root vegetable uh, that originates from Africa. And it's not something that we typically eat here. It looks similar to like a cassava, if you've ever seen one of those where the outside of it is like really rough. Uh, but yeah, it's not what we've been eating. It is not the sweet potatoes that we have been eating. There's actually 6,500 different varieties of sweet potatoes around the world. So it makes sense that, yeah, none of these are actually yams. So the confusion started when the orange flesh sweet potato was introduced to the market many decades ago. And the producers and growers, they wanted to differentiate it between the white flesh sweet potato and other potatoes that were on the shelf. So they gave it the name yam and they didn't actually come up with the name. It actually came from the African word niami, which is what they call their traditional yam over there. Uh, so yeah, that's why it got the name yam. So it's a sweet potato, but we call it yam. So now that we have that out of the way, I should mention that the sweet potato is not related to the potato family at all. The potato is a nightshade where all the sweet potato varieties are not a nightshade. They're actually from the morning glory family. So yeah, if you are avoiding nightshades for whatever reason, some people avoid them for different uh, inflammatory conditions and things like that. Sweet potatoes, all good. So something else cool about sweet potatoes is that they are extremely good producers. So sweet potatoes actually produce the most amount of food. Uh, sweet potatoes produce more pounds of food per acre than any other cultivated plant, including corn and the potato, which we know are huge producers. So if sweet potatoes is producing more than that, that's just incredible. Also, in many countries, they actually eat the leaves and the stem of the plant as well, which they are totally edible. Unlike the potato, which we should not eat the, the leaves or the stem of potatoes, you can totally eat the leaves and stem of yams. Oh, that's kind of a cool fact. 
So what makes these so nutritious? Well, we know that they are low in calories and high in fiber that makes them a very satiating food to eat. They're fat free, they're cholesterol free, they're naturally low in sodium, they provide our body with tons of B vitamins, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, folate, vitamin C, manganese, beta carotene, which we know our body converts into vitamin A, and it's also full of potassium. And on top of all that, they are an amazing source of antioxidants. So it definitely depends on which type you buy as far as how many antioxidants they're gonna have, but generally speaking, the darker the flesh on the inside, the more antioxidants it's going to have. So the purple yam here, free, I did it already. The purple sweet potato is gonna have much higher antioxidants than the white flesh sweet potato. When you're purchasing them in store, you just wanna make sure that they have nice tight skin, that they're not soft, they don't have any too many wrinkles or cracks or anything, uh, but the soft spots is definitely what you wanna watch out for. Uh, so basically, you just wanna store them in a cool, dry place. They'll keep from you know three to five weeks or so, but uh, I know that I eat them well before that. There's many different ways to cook sweet potatoes. Uh, the, probably the easiest is to just steam them. Just chop them up and put them in a big pot with a steamer on the bottom and just steam them. Probably takes about 25 to 30 minutes, maybe not even that long, depending on how small you chop them. And that's probably the easiest way to cook them and the healthiest way, the way that's gonna retain the most amount of nutrients. But there's many other ways that are also like very delicious and still quite healthy. Uh, one of my favorite ways is to make like yam fries. I've made a video on this before. I'm gonna have to rename it sweet potato fries now, I guess. But I did a video on that, how to make oil-free fries. And if you guys wanna check it out, I'll put a link in the description down below. Another good way to do them is to pop them into the microwave. If you microwave things, or if you're like at work and you just want like a nice sweet potato, that's nice and freshly cooked. You can just pop a few holes in it, pop it in the microwave for a few minutes. That's another good way. And I know a lot of people have an aversion to microwaves. They're like, oh my gosh, that is gonna give you cancer. You should not eat out of a microwave. It's actually standing near the microwave is much more dangerous than eating the food that comes out of the microwave. It's actually a really gentle way to cook your food. If you're interested in learning more about microwaving food and the nutrients that it retains or loses or whatever, I'll put a link uh, of a nutrition facts video in the description down below and you can check that out. I don't even own one. I just know it's convenient for some people to use. So I don't want people to be scared of them and think that they can't use them. But my favorite way to eat and prepare sweet potatoes is in the oven right now, so I'm gonna get them. <laughs> so really simply, I just cut them in half and I just put them face down on a baking tray. I do have like a non-stick uh, silicone baking sheet underneath that, it really helps. And yeah, I just bake it at around 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. This was about 55 minutes. And you can see like all the sugars and stuff start oozing out of it. They get nice and caramelized. And man, they are so good like this. So what I like to do once they're all cooked and they're nice and soft like this is to sprinkle some cinnamon on top and then just kind of mash the cinnamon into it. And my gosh, it makes these sweet potatoes so, so good and you don't need any salt, you don't need any sauces or anything on them. They're just like so perfect like this. What? Okay, you guys gotta see this, this is so cool. Look at that. So the purple like sugars that caramelized from the purple sweet potato, look at that, I can peel them right off. That is crazy. <laughs> look at the color of that. That is insane. See what it tastes like. Mmm, wow, oh man, it's sticky. Tastes like, it's like sweet. Man, that is good. I'm stuck in my teeth now though. <laughs> so I should tell you guys what sweet potatoes we have here. So this one here is the purple sweet potato. I'm sure it has a scientific name, but all I've been able to find is the purple sweet potato. Here we have the Japanese sweet potato. So that's a red skin with a yellowish white flesh. That's what all four of those are. This one here is the Hannah sweet potato. Oh, this is a really, really nice one. I love these. These are Crystal's favorite. And then here we have a jewel yam, which is what they call it, but we know it now as a jewel sweet potato, and is often confused with the garnet yam, 
which should be called a garnet sweet potato, but uh, they're both the ones that are orange on the inside. The garnet ones are usually like a bit um, thicker around, bigger around, where these ones are a little bit longer and narrower. But anyways, I think that's probably it for this video. I think I've talked about sweet potatoes enough for one day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. I'm sure that you did because I learned a lot of things when I was researching for this. So it should be really interesting. What food do you want to see me do next week? Should I do bananas? Should I do oranges? Should I do farro? Should I do frike? That's my favorite grain just because of the name. Actually, I don't even know if it's a grain. Maybe I can learn. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of this video and learned something as well. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit the like button if you guys like this video, if you think this new video series is a good idea. And subscribe if you want to see more from me if you haven't already. So thank you guys all for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day. Go eat some sweet potatoes. <laughs> All right, so I just realized that I didn't like taste these and tell you guys how they all tasted and how they were different. So I figured it was probably a good idea I should do that. So we have the purple yam here. Look how beautiful that color is, it's amazing. So that one, not overly sweet. No, I'm, not, I'm not good at describing flavors. It's good. It's not dry, creamy, sweet, a bit sweet, but not overly sweet. Yeah, pretty neutral actually, especially considering the color. So here we have a Japanese sweet potato. These have more flavor. Mmm, how do I describe that? This is hard. So the Japanese one is a bit drier, a little bit sweeter. I can't, what the heck, I can't describe that. Japanese sweet potatoes offer a nutty, slightly floral flavor with hints of chestnut and caramel and a drier, starchier texture than other sweet potato varieties. I would have to agree. So now we'll try the Hana sweet potato. Mmm, this one's good. Okay, not dry, super creamy, sweet. <laughs> That's it. I guess I don't, I don't know how to do this. And here we have the jewel sweet potato with a bunch of cinnamon in there as well. So, no words. <laughs> it's just simply amazing. So that one is my favorite of them all, I think. That one is the by far the sweetest and the has the most moisture content or whatever, but they're all so good. Anyways, 